Hi everybody, my name is Leslie. I'm a program specialist for the Makerspace. And today we're gonna to be doing some really simple art, but it looks great. So here's what you need. You need any type of paint. I'm using acrylic paint, but you can use watercolors or oil paint. Um, any brushes, you can use sponges, even, um, you can even finger paint this if you want, if you don't have any brushes. Um, you need masking tape or any tape that will easily peel off of uh, the surface. So I'm using a canvas, but you can also do this on wood or uh, paper. And then something to put your paint on and water for your brushes. So let's get started. The first thing you're gonna do is get your masking tape or any tape you're using. And you can basically freestyle this and create any design you want on your canvas. So you can create a heart or a square or triangles all over. So what I'm gonna go for is um, like a mosaic type of look with triangles everywhere. And I'm gonna start here and place the tape all around. For this part, you just wanna make sure it's on there really well so that the um, paint doesn't go under the tape. But if that happens, it's okay. And you can make as many sections as you want. Okay, so I think I'm happy with the way that looks. Uh, it's just triangles everywhere. So I'm using these three different colors. You can use any colors you like. Um, I really like blue and purple and red, so that's why I'm using these. I'm going to put them over here. And you don't need a lot of paint for this either. pattern. You don't have to do a pattern. Uh, you can alternate colors as well. So I'm going to wet my brush and I think I'll start with red. I'm just going to fill in the space. So I really like this because the effect after you're done is really cool but it's really easy to do and it's really hard to mess up which is great for beginners like me. And then something else you can add on to this after you peel off the tape and everything is dry. Uh, you can use a stencil and trace your name above all of it and it'll give it a really cool effect as well. So now I'm gonna use this other brush for the blue. And I think I'll get blue here. I like to add a little water to my acrylic paint so that it thins out a little bit. I kind of like that streaky look that it gives. And if you want like a challenge and you want to make this um, look more like a mosaic, you can make really small sections and fill them all in in different colors. section to see how that looks and I'll do the rest of the sections in purple. And I'm going to use this brush for my last one. So once 
once you're happy with the way your brush strokes look, I really like that streaky look, so I'm going to let it dry. So once you're happy with your, um, your paint, then you can let it dry. So we'll be back after it dries and we'll peel off the, the tape. Alright, so it's been about 15 minutes and it should be dry enough to peel off the uh, tape. So I'm going to slowly peel it off. As you can see, it kind of bled through under the tape here. Um, if you don't like the way that looks and you want really sharp edges, you can go in with um, a really thin brush and white paint and clean them up. But I kind of like the way it looks, so I'm going to leave it like that. And yeah, that's all. It's super simple and I think it looks super great with all the lines and you can put it in your office or your bedroom and you can create different shapes and make it more advanced if you want. Here's our final product. Uh, if you try it, make sure to post it so we can see it. Thank you.